Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Transport Fever 2, Tropical Fun. Now, last time around I was pontificating about putting a uh, hub in here and uh, bringing a connection in around this way. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So the first thing I need to do is get a connection around this way. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge on its own. Uh, basically what I want to do is I want to come in off of here and I want to come in, I'm going to want to come in under this existing bridge, snap to the uh, existing track here, and uh, the hub station will be somewhere around here. Uh, I think maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll uh, link up the uh, stations with the uh, passenger station here in Laredo. Now, I'm not entirely certain that that's what I'm going to do, though. So I'm going to, I'm going to start the clock on the game because, you know, this is going to be expensive. Now, I, I fussed around a bit here, uh, you know, to see what I could uh, come up with. And I didn't come up with anything terribly good. So uh, let's just, um, uh, we'll uh, have no catenary. Um, now. Uh, let's uh, have the uh, track come in from here and we're going to need to come around from say about well the question is I need to get it up over this so um, is that enough no but I definitely want it level <clears throat> Uh, right. This here. I want tracks. Up, up. It, ooh, that's enough. Okay. Well, if I put it here, is that enough? No. Is that enough? Yeah, it is. Okay, so... Uh... If I come from this side, I can bring it... Okay. How's that... Uh, can... I think that'll work. Um, use the... Uh, we'll use a cement bridge here. Yeah, we'll use a cement bridge. And... Actually, having that go downhill is uh, is good. Okay. So I'll put that there. Now, we can definitely get this under. Yep, it will definitely go under. Now. <clears throat> okay, if I put it there. Now, if I come at it from over here, I should be able to get it. Okay, yeah, I can get that to link up. Okay, this might not be a bridge episode. Uh, and then this can take as long as it needs to to uh, uh, to work its way up the uh, slope there. Yeah. Okay, I think that will work. Okay, you extend like that. Now, I need to bring a second track around here because this is going to be a uh, hub connector. Now, let's see how terrible that... Well, that's okay. Yeah, this will work. Now, this corner is obviously going to be slow, but uh, that will get a connection through, and that is the goal here. Okay, so... Up here, I need to chuck in another platform on here, I think. Yeah, I definitely need to chuck in another platform. So, uh, chuck one in here. Yep, exactly like that. Now... I can bring a track out like this. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Seems like it'll work. 
And this can then just go all the way up and meet up here. Because we need more tracks uh, all stacked up side by each there. Uh, okay. Well, that is enough to give us uh, plenty of uh, track excitement there. Okay, now here I need to run this through. I think this uh, crossing will be okay. That is that is kind of an epic uh, crossing, isn't it? Uh, now, uh, I need this to come all the way around. So, uh, we'll do the unexciting part and just fling this around here. And we got to run through the tunnel here. And I think once I get this uh, connection uh, roughed in, I'm going to... Uh, I think maybe it would uh, behoove me to uh, upgrade the uh, train, uh, the passenger train along there. Uh, so I'm going to bring this along. Uh, yeah, upgrade the passenger train, uh, the tracks and everything to uh, electric. Um, okay, so we'll bring that up to here. Now, this is going to be a through hub, I think. Yeah, I think this should be a through hub. So uh, it's going to need uh, two, uh, uh, two platforms on the through part. And I'm going to split this station as well, like I did the... Uh, the other one there. So, uh, cargo station, two platforms. We'll make it 320 and no catenary. And um, we'll uh, rotate this, uh, stick it in. Yeah, about there seems like it's appropriate. So, I'll stick it in there. Um, like that. So this will be the Laredo Cargo Hub. Yes, that's the Laredo Cargo Hub. Now we'll configure it. And I'm going to add one more of these on the end here. Uh, because that's what I've been running. Um, and I'm going to get rid of that okay right and then the actual uh, platforms for the uh, uh, cargo delivery and so on will be beside it there uh, okay so now we'll grab the tracks and can we get oh yeah that's good that, that's definitely good so I'll uh, do it this way and like this and I suppose I'm gonna need one of these Okay, so that gets us a uh, hub uh, connection there, uh, plumbed in. Uh, and I guess it's going to come in and uh, hit a hub here, and then come around and hit up this hub, I think. So, yeah, we're going to have uh, this track will come out here and uh, continue on uh, parallel there. So, I guess... Uh, we'll uh, do a, I'll just rough that in as well. Uh, and then you can uh, well, if I do this, then I can do this. Oh, that pull that pulls a 96 in. I don't want that. Um, right. Uh, okay, well, if I bring it in like that, then I should be able to snap in, yeah, like that. So that will uh, come up out, out like that. Okay, so if I leave that like that, right, what I can 
what I want to do, I think, is actually just, uh, uh, I want to upgrade this here uh, um, track. Uh, so I'm going to first upgrade the passenger track here uh, like this. Now, what I should do is find out where this line goes, because this is a long stretch, I think. Uh, okay, what's the line? Okay, it goes all the... Oh my, that is huge. Goes from Everett all the way down around through here all the way up to Thornton. And oh yeah. Well, I think I'll just upgrade it here um, with the... Uh, electrics and uh, so on at least in this stage right um, it might be uh, might be a good uh, plan maybe in the future for me to revisit this map uh, and uh, do some uh, more edited uh, uh, updates where I uh, pick a uh, project and then uh, and then upgrade uh, you know then uh, give you highlights from, from give give a highlights reel right um, at least that's a uh, thought anyway uh, but what I'm going to do here is uh, electrify this. Um, I think we'll be able to get it all the way back to Thornton anyway. If we electrify the, uh, uh, the depot there, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Oops. Okay. We'll come around here, up into here. And then we've got... Might as well electrify the station as well. Um, yeah, okay, so that's... Uh, that's electrified. Okay. Um, right. Well, it, might not, it shouldn't take too long to uh, pl plug through this and electrify the rest of it. And then I can uh, modify the consist with, uh, you know, something nice. Um, uh, we've got a thing there. Okay. Uh, well, I guess if you do this from a semi-bombardment view, it doesn't go too slowly. Uh, okay, now up here, it might be complicated, or it might not. Oh, it's been freaking forever, freaking forever, uh, since uh, um, since we plumbed in these uh, passenger routes here. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I remember this was a great deal of. Uh, excitement uh, shall we say uh okay this co oh yeah i remember this was uh great excitement to figure out uh nice long uh Ah, 
Ah, that's into Everett. Okay, we're done. So that means it should be possible to grab the uh, line, uh, manage vehicles, and we should be able to replace them. Um, what's our capacity? 100. Okay. Uh, so we select that. We replace them. We'll go with electric. Now, what have we got for electrics here? What have we got for electric multi-units, actually? Uh, Shinkansen carries 160 and does 220. Maybe I want to go with, with a Shinkansen. Uh, 5920, 640. Um, and this one... Oh, but the running cost is... Brutal. Yeah. This does 193. Carries 78 on the Metro Liner. Uh, this does 125. And carries 57. How long is it? Um, uh, how long is it? 204 meters, no. No, we won't do that. Okay. Well, let's just go with an electric here. Um, what are the... Oh, yeah, the running costs are high on these, too. Um, okay, so we have a... Uh, well, we have a New Haven. The New Haven one does 140. Well, the BR-103.1, uh, that does... Uh, what's the... Uh, you know what? I'm going to use that, and then we're going to go with passenger rail. Uh, this one does 140. That does 200. The West Rail West Fleet. Yeah, so that gives us that gives a hundred and five capacity. Yeah, I think I can live with that. Um, replace three hundred and four million. Whoosh. I think that's more trains than we need now. Anyway. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab one of these things, and uh, let's go for a ride. Just see. Well, we're going to max out at track speed here. Obviously. Uh, yeah, that's, um, that's doing okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, while that's uh, ticking around, I'm going to do some track uh, upgrades when autosave is done. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Come on. There we go. Uh, right. So I finished this. Uh, I probably should replace the signals as well, but that's tedious as anything. Um, okay. So I'm just going to blast through this. Uh, you can do your thing. Yep. You... Keep on going. Right. Well, uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do for the next uh, next series. Uh, and I'm planning to do another one. Uh, but I want to do something that's a lot more focused. 
uh, and I, I'm not going to do any kind of cargo hub mainline thing on it. So I'm going to need a uh, a map that uh, uh, that works, and uh, I'm not sure uh, how much time I really want to put into uh, creating a map. Um, it takes quite a while, you know, a lot of work to uh, do that, right? Uh, yeah, okay, right, and now coming out of here, I need to update this as well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think I want a map that uh, has some challenging terrain, uh, and... Uh, also has a uh, good uh, industry uh, mix uh, so that we can uh, uh, connect everything up without um, uh, without having no um, uh, resources for uh, some uh, factories and whatever uh, so uh, you know a balanced set of uh, industries right uh, but I'm not sure quite, uh, what, uh, what I really want to do there. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go for a ride along here. I'll just up the tempo. I just want to see the line, right? Uh, so we've got, uh, okay, so we can, we can come up uh, we're bringing 54 passengers. So, uh, you know, there's that. Okay, we uh, roll in here. Uh, we grab to capacity. Oh, maybe we do have enough trains on here. Uh, that might actually be... Uh, that might be good. Uh, okay, and we've got our um, freight line paralleling us there. Yeah, this this uh, these locos are plenty grunty. Uh, so I think uh, once this beds in a bit, yeah, I think it'll uh, it'll just increase the amount of uh, passenger demand on this line because we'll be going further faster than the uh, old um, whatever I was running on there, old steam train probably. And we're here. Yeah, we're running near capacity here, so uh, at least on this run, so so that's uh, maybe we don't have too many trains. But we're getting good acceleration; like we're we're hitting we're hitting pretty close to uh, to the 200 kph. So uh, you know that's uh, that's pretty solid. Right. Oh, it's just all this infrastructure that we're just blasting through here is uh It's a beautiful thing, really, isn't it? Uh Oh, wow. We're drag racing. Why do we slow down there? Is there a bit of unupgraded... Tr oh, bridge. Need to upgrade the bridges. That's why. Uh, right. So we pick up 13 from the end. We blast up here. Yeah, I need to upgrade the stone bridges. That's the issue. Okay. Right. Well, that's... Uh... Yeah, definitely need to upgrade the bridges. Okay, so that's what the slowing down was all about, right? Um, okay, so, but all this infrastructure, all these bridges and everything, it, it's just a beautiful thing, isn't it? 
Right, okay, so now we get here and we pick up a boatload, or more accurately, a train load of passengers. And then we blast our way down the track again. Yeah, this uh, this looks like it'll uh, it'll run nicely. So, um, right, it's going to take a while for it to catch up on the uh, passenger demand by the look of it at some of these stations. So, yeah, we were running at at or we were running above capacity before. So, right. Oh, look at that station. Uh, okay. What does our, our passenger load look like? Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, that's uh, rather uh, impressive. Uh, okay, it'll take a while for that to clear, but I think it should. Um uh, as the uh, trains are coming back, yeah, they're uh, they're running uh, quite uh, quite frequently. So, okay, so now what do I need here? I need to build a uh, a station that can collect um, that can collect. Uh, from uh, the stuff over here so uh, this uh, food processing plant for instance and this farm um, right now I could add a couple of uh, platforms to the uh, cargo hub station and then drop another station if I need to um, right nearby and I'm thinking I might just do that what do I need here? I need a tanker. That could be a truck. A truck line. Uh, this is definitely a truck line. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to go in here, I want to configure, and I want to put some steps, uh, say, here. Then, I want to go into the uh, um, the what you might call it, the road vehicle stuff. Uh, we'll go for a full length uh, platforms here, and uh, put a uh, put that here. Uh, let's uh, yeah, that looks like it's good enough. Okay. Put that there. Right. Now, uh, yeah, that will uh, that will do nicely. Okay. Now I'll uh, configure that and I'll stick one of those out the back. Cargo. I'm going to extend the cargo platform a little bit. That's probably as much of a cargo platform as we need. Uh, and this is going to be uh, Laredo uh, Cargo Hub as well. Yep. And then in here, uh, yeah, I'll do that also with a, a, a uh, uh, three. 20. Now, if I put this in here, uh, like this, yeah, I'll put that there. Uh, this is also going to be the cargo hub. Yeah, okay, now. Uh, I go in here, I configure that, I go in here, if I put one of those there, yep, 
that keeps it uh, connected. Yep. Um, okay. And then tracks. Need another one out the end here. Uh, like this. And one, two, three, four, and then take out the middle. Right. Okay, so that gets me a uh, start here. Now I can uh, go ahead and... Uh, well, first off, I'm going to take this road out. Uh, yeah, that road is going to not be needed. And it's also in the way. Okay, take that out. Uh, right, so uh, I'm going to need one of these with, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with a, we'll do this, yes. Uh, and if I drop this in like this, this is the Laredo Forest, so so is this. Yeah, now I can do something really clever. And build a road. Oh, you're, you're, you're calling that clever, are you? Well, you need to build a road. Yeah, but since when is building a road clever? Well, if you want to get stuff from one place to another, it kind of is. Well, I suppose I kind of have to give you that. Uh, and then this is going to come out this way as well. Yep. And I'm going to need another building uh, over here. Uh, wang that around. Uh, that'll do. That's Laredo Oil Well number two. Yep. So this is Laredo Oil Well number two. Right, so now we grab uh, the road again, and, okay, now that's connected. Um, yeah, well, that's uh, probably all we need to do there, okay, for those. But that gives us the road for uh, future planning, so uh, that's, uh, that's what I want there. Uh, so I guess I should, uh, I should probably, uh, fling a train at this here, uh, well, no, I should fling some signals at it first, uh, signals, one way, uh, yeah, you need to fling some signals at it, then you can fling a train at it, uh, Right, okay. Well, do this. And then this. Yeah. And this. And then I suppose you could do this. And then maybe this. Oh, look. Signals in a tunnel. Yeah, you went and did that. Yeah, I kind of did. And then we have signals there. And we need them there. And that's probably okay. Now, you need to get a crossover thing onto here so you can actually um, connect a train into that. Yeah, you're, you're right about that. So that's how you're going to do it, is it? Well, maybe. Too much curvature. Right. Um, right, okay. You need to do it the other one first. Uh, okay. So you need to do it this way first. And then you can come at it this way. Yeah. Do that. Do that. Okay. 
And I suppose you're going to slip these things. Yeah, of course I'm going to slip those things. Yep. Okay, that slipped. So now I can go find a uh, spot where I can fling a train from, which seems to be over here. Uh, right now, what do I need to fling at this? Well, I'm going to need flat cars and tankers initially. And then I'm going to need uh, also gondolas. Yeah. And food. That's boxcars. I need everything. Okay. Well, well I'll do gondolas anyway. Uh, okay, so we'll buy a vehicle. Uh, we'll go for diesel. Uh, we have the SD40. Uh, that's 1.8 mil, 3,410. Yeah, let's, uh, let's grab a SD40, uh, cargo. Well, uh, need some flat cars. Okay. Uh, that's, uh. Uh, longer one is lighter. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We'll put five of those. And we'll put... Uh, one, two, three, four, five of those. We'll find boxcars. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll go and grab gondolas. Gondolas. 18. Um, yeah, we'll grab that. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's probably enough of those. Buy it. Okay, now that's going to go on a new line that goes from here to here. Well, that's a good sign. And this is going to be um, right. This is going to be uh, Sacker Hub to Laredo hub. Right. Now, that's not going to actually do anything, but uh, let's uh, let's just observe it. Um, uh, what speed am I running at? I'm running at uh, turbo speed. Okay, let's observe it. Uh, it will get to the uh, destination, of course. But I want to see that new track that just got uh, plumbed in there. And, uh, oh, hello, autosave. And then see uh, see how well that, uh, that runs. Okay, it really slowed down there. Um, right. I'm kind of looking forward to the next major update to Transport Fever 2. Um, hopefully they'll fix some of the weird um, behaviors. Uh, that would be uh, nice. Um, right. Okay, so that weird slowing down is we'd caught up to, in, to a train ahead of us, obviously. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that one needs to clear. And then we'll be able to truck along after that, of course. Yeah, I think what I'd do uh, revisiting this map would be to uh, uh, actually carefully uh, you know, look at all of the industries 
and connect them all up, but uh, connect connect them up pairwise. And so uh, maybe have a backbone rail network kind of like this, but connect up the industries more directly. The game works a little bit better that way. Uh, and, uh, you know, because of that, uh, it's uh, actually uh, uh, quite, um, uh, you know, it, it's quite worth your while. Uh, you'll end up with better profits, easier to balance the transport needs and everything like that. Uh, and that's the, the, uh, that's the idea, right? Uh, now, the thing of it is that uh, uh, doing that, uh, is a lot more complex and I think that's why I want to go that way but I want to make sure that I have uh, industries uh, set up so that uh, they all they can all be connected up properly pairwise uh, and that's that's the part that uh, that's going to take a while to set up and I want a map that's uh, challenging but not impossible uh, and that's the other problem Okay, so we get to our uh, platform here with a nice uh, embankment cliffside there. Uh, and then we can uh, trundle on out to the other station. So we're empty, we're definitely outpacing the GP9s there. I think those are GP9s anyway. Uh, okay, we come down. We get our sharp corner. That's not terrible. Uh, and now we've got our uh, passenger line beside us there. We should see a passenger train go by us. There's a passenger train going the other way. And here's our our stop. Yeah. Okay. So that track is all uh, all functional. So so that's good. Um, okay. Good. Um, right. Okay. So next time around, because I'm going to put the cut here. Uh, next time around, I'm going to faff around over here, connect up uh, these here uh, industries uh, in the neighborhood, uh, you know, the farms and everything. And then, uh, then it's, uh, I might even connect up, uh, I might even bring, no, no, I'll, uh, I'll need to drop a hub in somewhere over here as well. Yeah. Or bring them in. Yeah, I'm not sure actually, uh, but I'll have to put something up around Grand Rapids. Okay. Anyway, uh, so that's uh, that's that for this time. Uh, as next time around, more uh, uh, juggling around, um, and it's pretty clear at this point that I need um, either lo uh, not longer trains, but more trains. Okay, I'm just going to do that. Manage vehicle. I'll put three more trains on that line. There's enough track space for it, so it should be fine. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for this time. So, you know, uh, stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And I guess uh, see you back next time.